Pet Gear is brought to you by Especially for Pets, the store created by pet lovers for pet lovers. Okay, wherever you stand on putting clothes on pets, you're going to love the costumes we've got in today, or at the very least, seeing us try to get them on our studio demo dogs. In today's pet gear, we're celebrating Halloween with some colorful costumes designed especially for dogs and cats. Joining me now with more is NECN's wonderful Allison Sonfist. Hi, Vicki. Hey, Allison, you're game for anything. That's what I love about anything. you. Anything, and Halloween is definitely my favorite holiday for people and for pets. Is it? How fun is this? Well, and what have you dressed Sage as? Tell me. We've dressed Sage as a pumpkin. She's so cute. <laughs> she's, she's definitely game for anything. This is absolutely adorable. A lot of these costumes are by Zach and Zoe, which is a really, really great brand. Last year, our family dog was dressed as a pirate, which was really cute. So this is a pumpkin. It's so easy. You just put it around. Normally, her arms would go through here. Yeah, Sage doesn't exactly so, have the legs for yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know if they make a costume this big, maybe, but... You know, we could try it. She's pretty, she, she sets off the pumpkin pretty exactly. well. Exactly, and she's also wearing a cute little pumpkin necklace. So I think the thing about um, costumes, obviously dogs don't like to wear clothes, and right. they shake them off. It's probably going to only last you a couple of minutes, but Absolutely. you also want to sort of make sure that you're not restricting their movement or that you're not upsetting them, because it does exactly. stress out some dogs. So that's what's really great about all of these. If we can bring our dogs over, we can show all of them. Can we get some demo dogs them. here? Come here, guys. <laughs> They all have a lot of Velcro, so it's really easy to put on. Here we hey have a... Guys. What is Annie? Annie's dressed up as a shark. <laughs> <laughs> and we, Callie we have, is... We have Callie a dressed land up... A shark, okay. She's a witch. Good girl. She, here's her cape and her hat. Good girl. She's so all of these things are so easy. Beautiful. And I think she actually has her own little broom. Yes. And whether they're on just for a minute to take a quick picture, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Belle. Come here, Belle. You're dressed up as a what bear. Is, be is Belle a bear or a, li a, be it's a bear? It's a bear or a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. They're just running for treats. They're doing trick or treats. We have our little angel here with her. And this is Casey, <laughs> our newest studio dog. And what is she? She's an angel with her pitchfork. A devil. Wait, a devil. I mean, what am I saying? A devil. Allison, we just had a little insight into your personality. <laughs> right? That's what because you think an angel because is. because I was looking at the angel wings on the floor. Angel wings are good for everybody because yes. you can just stick them on. And this really is really easy. And also, <laughs> fun for Halloween, there's toys everywhere, squeaky toys, all orange and black. And one more thing we should also mention for Halloween, even though it is fun to dress up the pets in costumes and everything, you need to make sure if you're going to take them trick-or-treating to be safe. So, what do we have for these safety? really neat things, I guess we can just... <laughs> we'll put it over the costume. Um, this is just a real easy bandana that Velcro's on, and it has reflectors on it. So if you're walking with the kids trick-or-treating, the dog can be safe as well. Come, all different sizes. There's a bandana. This one's also shaped as a collar, but it's nice because they have reflectors on them. And, you know, obviously Halloween is a nice opportunity to be able to take them out walking with you, spend some time together, yes. socialize them, but you want them to be safe, and so the, yes. the reflective gear is perfect. And also, I think we should tell people that if your dog really hates the costume, to take, you know, don't leave it on for very long. Although Absolutely. you might not even have that choice. I think they can figure out yeah. how to Yeah, some people obviously up. don't seem to care. Sage <laughs> is very stress-free about her pumpkin outfit. And I know one more quick thing we should also mention for Halloween um, in terms of safety and health. Um, the kids may bring home bags and bags of candy. Candy, but not only keep it out of safe reach from your kids if you don't want them eating it all up, but chocolate is such a danger for dogs. So to keep that out of reach so they're not getting into any of the Halloween candy That's bags. That's a really important point. And Allison, what are you going to be for Halloween? I still don't know yet this year. I'm still <laughs> deciding. There's so many stores around, so many fun opportunities. But these actually, these have given me some good ideas. <laughs> Those have been fun. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, guys. Come back over. Treats. Treats. <laughs> hey, where'd your, where'd your costume go? Hey. One other note, you can celebrate Halloween with your pet this year at the Especially for Pet Store in Newton, Massachusetts. They're holding their very own Halloween party on October 31st from 1.30 to 3.30. Tickets are just $10, and the proceeds benefit the Pug Rescue of New England. Treats and other prizes will be given out to pets with the best costumes. <laughs>